that with the, with the fan that came original to the boat, it's a bracket that goes all the way back, and then there's a bolt that runs through. Correct. But there's no real support. If, if the spreaders get pushed aft, like in a heavy wind jibe, mm -hmm. it tends to kink the mast. Hmm. And it did on mine. It pressed the mast in, and it caused the, ba the mast to bend. Hmm. You know, it, it, uh, it's kind of like a pop can. When you dip all the walls, it loses yeah. its strength. Right. So when I bought this new mast, I went over to this style, and uh, it's got just a simple bracket across the front, and then these, and these are attached further back, so there's more structural support from the luff group. Mm -hmm. So the loads are, are better transferred into the mast without dimpling. Very interesting. Don, do you adjust those spreaders at all? Um, you know, I haven't until I got this new sail. I bought a UK sail, mm -hmm. and it, it seems to like them a little bit farther forward. So what did, um, do you, if you do you measure the distance? I you know I I had measured it before and it was like five something. Mm -hmm. But since I've moved them, I haven't taken another measurement to see. So I'm so it's further probably. forward than five, but yeah. you're not sure what. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. Let's say start at four something, four and a half maybe. I'm not really sure. Interesting. But just a little bit, and we'll see how it works. And then maybe later in the season I'll go another turn. Mm -hmm. All right. But it's held up pretty good so far. Right? I can't remember how old this mast is now, but there's absolutely no dimpling of any kind. And this is after that giant wind nationals at Clear Lake. Yeah. And it's untouched. Right. So. Yeah, that was, what, three, four years ago? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so that's it. Nothing really spectacular. Well, thank you, Noel. You bet.